Hello everybody, my name is Henry Chisholm and you're watching Beyond the Arc. This week's episode is devoted entirely to the Bridgeport Basketball Classic at the arena at Harvey Yard. It's back in action for the first time since 2007. Obviously, you've got Harding at Central, a big Bridgeport rivalry. Both teams are on the top of their game and are also on the top of the FCI. But we're going to start with the first matchup, which starts at 6 o'clock on Thursday, Trumbull at Bassett. Bassick's been getting some surprisingly good play from Demetrius Thomas. He's a sophomore who just came on with the team four games ago and has been averaging 13.7 points per game in his last four games. Cause like I've been coming to practice, like going to all the games, like practicing all the, you know, all that stuff. I was ready. Trumbull's Avery Penix has also been playing well for the Eagles and he stepped up his game offensively in his last few outings. Um, I do it all for the team really. Um, I struggle offensively a little this year, but I'm picking it up, rebounds, assists, and as long as we're winning, that's what's good. So. And both teams seem ready for a great crowd at the arena at Harbor Yard tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Well, you know, my last three years we haven't been able to play there, and it's pretty exciting because I watched my freshman year, watched the players play. I actually watched Rady play there his uh, freshman year, and it's really exciting to be able to go there and, and play for myself and for the team there. But Great opportunity for uh, Steve Bridgeport and the kids. Uh, uh, college at atmosphere of the billion, and, uh, nice gym, and family and friends be able to come down and see you. So Trumbull is 9-5 and five and 7-5 and five in the FCAC after winning a game on Tuesday against West Hill 59-58. to 58. Bastic on the other hand is 10-4 and 9-3 and and in the FCAC after beating Fairfield Ward on Tuesday 70-68. to 68. So now pushing forward we've got that big game Central and Harding but first we're going to go on the bench with Harding coach Charlie Bentley. guy, LeBron Gaskin, uh, years ago when I was uh, in high school, I followed this guy to grammar school, high school, and college, and we, we had a summer program, and he had me coach. And also, uh, People's Savings Bank used to run a summer league, and I began to coach him back and had a lot of success with him. Yeah, I played uh, high school ball at Boyd Havens. I went to Central Methodist College where I uh, started four years, and that's it. Um, I was an assistant at Central for a year, and I coached at Roosevelt, you know, grammar school for two years. Oh, it's, it's something that's that you can't really put in the words because, I mean, he was a great kid. Uh, he did a nice job for me. And my other son, he did a nice job also. But the younger one, he learned from the older one. So, you know, it was, it's always good to have your kids and, and be be successful with them. Who was the other son other than uh, Sharoy? Uh, Charles. Charles Jr. Uh, Charles III, that is. <laughs> You know, what we want to have is student athletes. And athletes that just want to play ball, I, I don't want those type of athletes. I want someone who wants to be some, someone and somebody in life. So Coach Bentley is actually going to be facing against his former team on Thursday at 7.30. So now moving forward, we've got Harding and Central. There's a lot riding on this game. Central comes in 12-1 and overall and 11-1 and in the FCAC. And Harding is 12 and 1 and 11 and 0 in the FCAC. So there's more than just bragging rights riding on this game. We 
have to, as a as a school, there's a rivalry between all the Bridgeport schools. So we, I guess we have to, it's we have to show that we're the better of Bridgeport. So a little pressure, but as a team, I don't think we feel like separate. Like there's a pressure like individually. Well, basically everybody down us. They got Simpson to be the favorite. So basically, we want to play hard. Just come on, we just want to prove everybody wrong. And both these teams play similar styles. They like to get the ball up and down the court. They can press well, and they can also knock down the outside shot. So it'll be interesting to see who's able to impose their style more and come away with the win. I, I, I guess they're pretty, uh, I'm sure they play very, very hard. I'm sure they're very well coached. Um, you know, I'm sure their press is, is going to be, uh, you know, probably if not their strongest point, one of their stronger points. So, um, you know, I just know what I read in the paper, the guys that are scoring. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they'll be ready to play against us. So I anticipate a really, a really tough game. And there should be a pretty electric atmosphere in the arena that night, only adding to what should already be a great rivalry game. I mean, a lot of people will have butterflies, but me, I love the game of basketball. I'm hungry, so I'm going to go out there and um, go out there and eat. So make sure you get your tickets. They're still on sale at the arena at Harbor Yard box office. The games tip off at 6 o'clock with Trumbull at Bassett, and at 7.30 for Harding at Central. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Beyond the Arc, and I'll see you guys next week.